All right, welcome back. This is the fifth and final video of my five video series. Uh, basically related around my Google Classroom here that I've created for military trainees in the fuels career field. So right now I'm going to log in as a student. Uh, we're going to talk about two things. We're going to talk about Google Forms uh, in the classroom to create quizzes, and then Flubaru, which is really just an application add-on uh, that works with both forms and sheets to allow you to get grades, score assignments, you name it. Um, pretty cool tool that I'm still playing around with a little bit, so I kind of want to take you through it. Uh, so I selected these two to spruce, spruce up my classroom a little bit, and I'm going to enter as a student the ID that I created with another Google account. So I am not in here as a teacher, so I'm just looking around as a student uh, trying to find out my assignments. So I know that there was a quiz assignment. Uh, this particular student already created the, or took the quiz, so you're not gonna be able to see it again, but here it is. There's the actual quiz itself. This shows that it's due tomorrow that this student's quiz was already graded. Uh, and since it was me, luckily they got a four out of four or else that wouldn't have been that great. Uh, so you can see here that it says the student already responded to the quiz. That's fantastic. Uh, if you click on view for accuracy, it should take you back through the quiz and just kind of show you how it was set up. Uh, yeah, exactly right. So this is just the quiz itself. The student had to put in their email address there. And again, I created all of this through uh, Google Forms on the Google Classroom. So pretty fantastic stuff. Sorry about that, so it's a little slow here. So this is just quick four question quiz for the student. Uh, something to really just test my ability to create something. Uh, and it's just multiple choice. You could do uh, other forms, but Anyway, I want to show you how that works. So the main use is it's going to be in the classroom. It's going to be assigned trainees uh, volume quizzes. Uh, these quizzes range from 100 to you know more 100 to 140 questions. So really, it's more like a test than a quiz. But I'm going to use it to uh, track. For the military folks, the, the one thing that's a little bit different is they take an end of course exam over all their volumes, and across those four volumes, they take a paper test. So that's just for practice. Everything's on paper, paper, paper for practice. And then when they go to take their final exam, guess what? It's on a computer. So I wanted to create an atmosphere where these students are actually using a program. They're using something electronic. They're getting used to answering questions in a computer format. And then when they go to take that final that final test, it's not a, it's not a surprise then to see some of these questions uh, on a computer-based system. Didn't make a lot of sense to me that everything was paper up until their final, no practice on the computer. So something I wanted to change for them. So the ISTE standards, uh, and this is student 1C, uh, students using technology to seek feedback that informs and improves their practice to demonstrate their learning in a variety of ways. So you're going to be taking quizzes on here. And then you have ISTE for Teachers 5C, explore and apply uh, instructional system design principles to create innovative digital learning environments that engage and support learning. So real quick, I just want to take you through a couple of Google Forms. This is the, the general format. It looks like Docs, sheets, anything else. It's not on the regular little Hollywood squares here. You actually have to search for it, but uh, it is in your Google. So once you do that, like here, if you see, that, I'm going to start a blank quiz. So this is how simple it is to use Google Forms to create a quiz. Uh, very user friendly. Here we go. So you can rename the quiz, whatever you want. I'm going to name it for blank quiz for this as we uh, scroll through. Here, you can type a quick question, but what I've done was I've taken a Google Doc and typed up all my questions so I can just easily copy and paste the questions and answers into the, into the document. So my very first question will be, what is the capacity of an R11 storage tank? So I'm just gonna do the old Control C, swap it over here to the blank quiz, go to the question, Control V it in there, and add some options. So I can go back and cut and paste, but I know these are pretty simple. So 4,000 gallons. Uh, I'm just gonna show you a couple of these, 5,000 gallons. And these are just standard quiz stuff. You wanna put a couple good distractors in there along with the right answer, which is here, 6,000 gallons. And it's really as simple as that. Uh, you want to mark the right answer, you click on, oh, way too many options there. Got a little nuts on me. <laughs> it's, a learn it's a learning computer as well. All right, so if you click 6,000 gallons here, that's actually the correct answer. So first hit answer key, and then mark 6,000 gallons. 
and it's going to save that. Okay, so that's simple. And then over here on the right, you'll see this little toolbar here. Since I only have one question and I told you there's 130 plus, you just add the next and you just keep going. You can go back to your Google, your document if you're going to use something like that. Copy actual question. Like so. Go back into forms, you click back and forth, post that in there, and then continue to add and add and add uh, as many as you can until you're done. Now, once you're done, like any other Google document, you can save it, you can rename it. Here, I'll rename this one practice number two. And there it is. And what I'll do is I'll show you how I go back in the classroom, then I can assign it. So that's done. Like all Google stuff is already set up. And I can go in here to back to my classroom. I can, oh, I'm not a teacher, so let me swap over to my teacher account. Pretty simple operation to go back and forth. Obviously, if you're in a classroom, you're not going to have a teacher and a student account but for me for the sake of this video so I can show you how this thing works appropriately uh, that's what I've done a quick assignment so we went into classwork under assignments uh, we're going to create a quiz assignment simple enough so we're going to call it practice number two We're assigning just two points because that's all it is. We can assign a due date here. Uh, let's see. We'll pick tomorrow. It's two questions. I think we can handle that. You can put a specific time in there if you need to. I'm going to go in here and delete that blank one because that's not what we want. Go into Google Drive. Like you will with any other file, all your Google Drive files are going to be right there uh, for your classroom use. And then there's practice number two. So click practice number two and add. And now you've just created an assignment, that simple. I uh, click assign. You can assign it to all students like I have here. And now you have a quiz assigned and it's due tomorrow. Simple stuff. So for this video, I also talked about Flubaru. So once you go into the actual quiz and the quiz is completed, you're gonna wanna grade it. You're gonna wanna see how your students did. So when you go into the system, it's gonna pull up that quiz for you and it's gonna give you a link Sheets link, you click on the Sheets link and it's going to open up. And it's going to give you kind of a summary here. Uh, let me show you the, the first part. So it shows you a summary of the two people that actually took this quiz today. Uh, I've got it listed by their email addresses, so it doesn't have first and last names in here. Uh, and then it shows you the score four out of four, three out of four. You can have that or not. Uh, if it doesn't have that, let's say it's a 140 question uh, test, and really you want to find out what some high miss stuff uh, is, who's getting all the answers right. Um, you see here, it's got just this is a very small quiz, just the four questions. It's got the questions listed above here, uh, and then the, the answers below, and what answer the student picked. So LEP in this in this case was right, uh, catalog was incorrect. So then uh, I told you I wanted to talk about Flubaru. So Flubaru is an add-on. So you go to add-ons here. I've already added it. So you can activate it on your Google Sheets. Uh, it's an awesome experience. So you click here, uh, grade assignment. So we'll update existing grade sheet. Yes, I want to continue. So I'm going to click that and show you what it's going to do for me. It's going to ask me a couple questions and how I want to do it because I submitted two. So there's a question there. There's a category for the for the sheet that just says score here. So I don't want them to grade that for sure. So I have it skipping grading for that. And then normal grading for the other questions each value at one point. I had a blank one in there, so I skipped it and identifying the students by email address. So all that's correct, so I click continue. It's gonna take me to step two, which is gonna ask me for a answer key. So I created the answer key under my own email address. So I clicked on that answer key and hit continue. And now it's grading the assignment. So it's gonna, uh, although it's already got a score there, I wanna kind of show you this uh, just so you can see the other tools that are available with Flubaroo. So it doesn't take too long for it to process the entire thing. 
And you can see there's some action going on behind the scenes and now grading is complete. So it's that quick. And you can close this out if you don't want to read the tips. And here you go. So out of five possible points, uh, the average points was four. Of course, it only created one person because the other one was the answer key. You can see here that it shows you when the person submitted and who it was. Uh, out of the total points, they got an 80%. They only took the test one time, which is all that was allowed. Uh, they have not been emailed the grade and it's not been scored for them yet. So you can see that they got them all right. And the highlighted orange one here uh, shows that 0% of the students got it right because she was the only student that took it uh, and missed that question. So how that can come in handy, of course, you're gonna, you're, if you have a, a high missed question, something maybe you missed uh, in training, maybe there just wasn't something that the students could grasp uh, with what you gave them for material. So that's something so you could go back to the teacher and kind of review. Um, this is kind of a rough, rough view of this uh, program itself with sheets, forms in the classroom. Uh, I really wanted to highlight that the use of Google Forms to create uh, quizzes and it's the, those quizzes will self grade export themselves into sheets and then you can use add ons like Fluberoo, uh, which is another free educational site uh, that allows you to score those questions. Uh, you can email grades directly. Uh, if you want to go back real quick, I can tell you that uh, it will allow me to go back into the add-on here for Fluberoo. As you see here, one thing I didn't share with you. Uh, and then you can share the grade. So if you click share grade, it's going to come up and ask you if you want to email them. Uh, and it will email the student directly and tell them what grade they got on, this, on there. Uh, really awesome. You put their message in there. You can, If you have a specific message to one individual student, you can send that individually. Uh, to give them feedback on how they did on the quiz or maybe they need a little bit more help. So that is it for the five different videos. I hope you enjoyed them. I hope you get something out of them and you can take them back to your own classrooms or training environments, whatever that may be.